Welcome to Mono Consulting TV. My name is Sibo. Now, in this episode, we're going to be talking about value added tax. Now, a lot of people, when they register companies, they'll be asking me, when exactly do we have to register for VAT? Now, I just want to clarify today on this episode what, what VAT is all about. Now, to start, VAT is basically a tax that government levy on all purchases or selling of goods and services. Now, when do we have to register for VAT? Now, only when a business is making a turnover or a sales of one million per annum, can then it will be compulsory for them to register for VAT. Otherwise, if they want to do it voluntary, at least in any month they must have about fifty thousand in sales. Now, the rate of VAT is basically fourteen percent. Now, one another thing that need, that needs to be understood. There's what is called input tax and output tax. Now, input tax is the VAT that is le- that that is that is added on all expenses for the business, and the output tax is on all the sales, you know, of the business. Now, when do we have to submit returns for for VAT? You know, with most business, especially small businesses, every two months, either even or odd, meaning meaning that it can be January or February, or it can be February or March, basically odd odd numbers or even month. And VAT is usually submitted on the last day of, of, of that second month. Now, uh, what it also needs to be clear, there's t- two types of ways that VAT can be, can be calculated, either on an invoice basis or on a cash basis. Usually SARS or the, the, the method that is used, you know, you know, strongly is the invoice basis, meaning that as soon as you invoice all those invoices within the two months, that that way the VAT will be will be worked out. Now one other thing that must be highlighted is that companies are basically SARS agent to collect VAT.